Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is a very interesting um, story that has been released today. According to uh, some new research um, with solar cycles, and something that uh, is still, of course, in testing phase, so, you know, uh, that doesn't mean that it's uh, right, but it is definitely something to look at. So, some uh, researchers actually came with an idea uh, called the Terminator event. And the Terminator event, it refers to the time where sunspot cycles move or transition from one to the other. So when we have a sunspot cycle, we have a moment where at the bottom, both sunspot cycles from the new cycle and the old cycle mix together for a while. And of course, this causes an interaction. So they applied this and they looked actually at the solar cycle uh, termination event for the past 100 years and even more. They looked at all the cycles and how the uh, termination event, how fast it happened depending on each cycle. And that actually apparently can predict how strong a solar cycle will be. Now, we've been talking since the beginning of the solar cycle 25, how fast it's been rising, and that it might indicate something interesting. Now, this, what's happening right now, contradicts what the uh, NASA and NOAA forecasts are all about, saying that the next cycle 25 is going to be a small one, and this is the blue line. This is what the prediction is, the blue line. And the um, termination event for the last, uh, for the cycle, the last cycle, 25 to 24 to 25, happened in December of 2021. And according to that, and according to their research, that would mean that the next solar cycle will be above average. So above average means it's going to be bigger than the last cycle. It's not going to be one of the huge cycles, but it's still going to be a much bigger cycle than what was predicted, which would tend to give us, according to their estimates, sunspot numbers of around 190 plus or minus 20. So this is interesting because, you know, we're still learning how to decode how the sun works. And uh, this new theory, if in fact it works for this cycle 25, might actually be a new way of looking at the sun and understanding how big solar cycles will be. Um, that is very interesting. So the quicker the termination event between two cycles, the bigger the sunspot number, the bigger the cycle and the longer it takes between two uh, cycles for that terminator event to happen, the smaller the cycle is going to be. We'll see who's right, NOAA, or maybe this research, um, which is going to be interesting. And uh, we're going to see how this is going to impact. And of course, it is very important for us, for shortwave listeners, because what happens? What happens is that the bigger the cycle, the more the higher frequencies are going to propagate, and it could be a very interesting time for um, many types of propagation, especially on the higher bands. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.